Hello, I'm here with David Wilcox at the Promoting Respectful Relationship Conference. David, you've just been explaining what social reporting is. What is social reporting? Well, really what you're trying to do is to create a conversation between the people who are at the event and the people who aren't at the event, and to do that in a number of different ways. Um, partly by live streaming what's going on, people can look in and, and get it in real time, little bits of Twitter to capture uh, some key things, but also doing short video interviews which people can look at afterwards, which can go with blog posts. And that's what we're doing here, figuring out with a group of young social reporters how to do that. Fantastic. And you've said quite a lot there in just 30 seconds that maybe you would have spent 20 minutes giving a presentation on. What's the best social reporting you've seen that boils things down quickly? Um, I think um, rely on the capability of people quickly to pull together what might otherwise, as you say, turn into a page of stuff. Because um, that's what we do all the time. We're all having conversations with each other. Somebody goes, oh, I heard this about what you're talking about. What is it? And you go, Ch -ch 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 -ch. how do I turn that into something which is interesting to that person? So what the social reporter is doing is, is helping people just have the sort of conversation they would normally have with anybody else. And finally, if people want to find out more about social reporting, what should they do? Do you want to find out more about it? Well, Tim, you've just done a great guide. You just give us the URL for that, and they can download it and become a social reporter in their own right. Fantastic, David. Thank you very much.